I'm here at the Annenberg Community House, also known as the Beach House in Santa Monica. This is a unique, inclusive community destination that offers various recreational amenities like free Wi-Fi, beach courts and fields, and community and cultural events. They also provide complimentary beach wheelchairs, which is pretty cool. I am now on the Santa Monica Beach Trail, which is a three-mile paved walking and biking section that extends from the Pacific Palisades to Torrance. All these recreational amenities are great, but what we're really here for is the Santa Monica Beach Restoration Pilot Project, which I'm walking to right now. Uh, this project is located near the Annenberg Community Beach House, where we first started out. Um, so give me a couple minutes and we'll get there in no time. So while we walk over there, let me tell you a little bit more about it. This project is a small scale beach and dune restoration. Um, it's projected to create sustainable habitat for wildlife, um, provide public benefits, and help protect the coast from sea level rise. This project is funded by a variety of sponsors, including the EPA, Annenberg Metabolic Studio, and Patagonia and the Bay Foundation, which is a nonprofit environmental group, will be responsible for implementing and maintaining uh, the project and will collaborate with the city of Santa Monica. So this restoration site was implemented in two phases, which included the installation of fencing, which you'll see in a bit, um, and seeding of native coastal strand vegetation species. This project was meant to be an experimental pilot for the region, so no specific quantifiable success criteria were set, but it's still interesting to see the results, um, especially since uh, the project is doing fairly well. Um, and so this project positively engaged the public. It created new partnerships and outreach connections. Um, it restricted grooming in approximately a three acre area and it allowed vegetation to grow and encouraged uh, sand dunes to form along the fence lines, which we're uh, approaching right now. Um, within the project area, and it provided a comprehensive science-based monitoring data to inform nature-based uh, beach restoration solutions. And it's interestingly bringing back a rare coastal habitat 
type to the LA region. As is true for many other restoration sites, this area intended to increase the functions within the habitat area. The federally threatened western snowy plover had not been recorded in the LA region for almost 70 years, and the first nest for the Los Angeles region was found here within this restoration area and contained three eggs. Um, plovers have been repeatedly identified within the project area all throughout all five years, where um, previously they had not been documented on site uh, before the restoration project. And so on top of that, a new native plant species, um, which you'll see as I walk along the path in a moment, um, but yeah, a new native plant species, um, possibly a rare variant of woolly heads, was identified as germinating in the project area and was identified in all future years, which is pretty exciting. Um, and as the seeds of the species are not sold by the seed provider um, that worked with the restoration area, it's likely, highly likely, that there was either an existing seed bank for the species already along the Santa Monica beach, or that it was transported by wind, waves, birds, or humans. And so it was not identified in areas adjacent to the project site. Um, another native plant, I don't think we see it here, but um, is the pink sand of verbena. And this was also not identified on site and was not included um, intentionally by the seed provider. Um, and then another biological addition to the restoration project area were dune beetles. Um, and those, they provided an increased layer of the food web available um, to foraging birds and wildlife. <laughs> 